Yes, so Biba, should I Biba, have you started? Mashallah, from the, from the <laughs> beginnings, what, what is it, uh, what's it all about? Okay, so thank you. Uh, Waste Warriors, uh, basically with a, a litter picking organization, which we first started was, it was me and my, my brother Bilal. Uh, we, we was basically not happy with the way Smalley Park looked, so we started from Smalley Park. And then we decided to have an initiative just to uh, go out with some bags and just continue to start cleaning the local park. And after that, we didn't have no equipment, we never had no litter pickers, no litter picking hoops. We didn't have the actual proper bags, which the city council meant to give you, you know. Uh, we just had kitchen bags from the kitchen. Uh, took some from mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, you use the household waste collection, <laughs> mashallah. Again, that's, that again, yeah. that's that's uh, 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 stuff. You know, started from home, starting you know? from home. And uh, then uh, my brother, you know, and then some day, uh, like locals was inspired by this from the first day. They're really happy that who are you know the two guys here, you know, with the we had our orange high on, and they go, you know, they. Removing rubbish, to the world. where's your equipment, where's litter pickers? And we were like, okay, litter pickers. We, <laughs> we never really paid attention to how waste is removed, you know, because I think that's with everybody. We're so busy and we need to kind of like appreciate like, you know, with the waste prevention team, they come out and the, the city council, they do come out. I have to have a bit of a background as well, slightly, when uh, with, I worked with the Baby City Council as well, when we had to put the wheelie bins, when the plastic bags were yeah, yeah, I remember. replaced with the wheelie yeah, yeah, bins. I remember. And there was a strike happened that time, so we we were had to come in as in um, small Yes, way. yes, I remember small yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and actually, actually, uh, cut a long story short, yeah. that actually made the national news and the lo local and national news because yes. the community got together and says, right, we're not having this because there was a two, three week strike. We're not having this. And you were like picking up those black bags on the back of a van and you were taking them to the recycling center, mashallah. Yes, I do remember that. That's right. So yeah, I do, I do, I do have a go at the local media, national media, but that definitely made because this was again evidence of community empowerment. The community got up and said, we are not having in this we're gonna make a change and mashallah you did at that particular time that's when bearded bros came in yeah so bearded bros every everybody knows with yeah. the navid yeah, yeah i have good relationships with yeah. Navid, yeah and imran yeah hamid yeah. which is uh now there's a uh, yeah i don't go too much no no no, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> but they were all together did you, did you? also with friends of smolly park yes. Muhammad. yeah and uh so they were all together basically these were like the uh the expandables which I like to say, yeah, 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 you, got, yeah. you got all the all stars there. Yeah. So we were like, you know, I had no idea about this. So it wasn't even planned, uh, like you know, to, you know, have some limelight or, oh, it was about publicity. Nothing it was nothing like that. We just wanted to go in, and we just wanted to just make a bit of a change in a small park. That's how it started. And afterwards, then he, I got my uncle Safraz next to me here. I said, I said, let's like, you know, let's go to Adley Park, which is. The one we did recently. Where That's I right, yeah, it's on our patch. The, yeah. yeah, on the patch. Then we started to get my other family members involved. I started meeting other people from other groups which existed, which I had no idea about. And this is all going during the COVID time. COVID, yeah. So we were also looking for a reason to get outside as well because yeah, yeah. there was a lockdown. Yeah. And at that particular lockdown, you can remember, right, when yes. the lockdown, we, we couldn't even go outside because you had, it was like a curfew. You know, if you go outside, you had to give a valid reason. So we were having a good reason to go outside. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. A, so, and and I, I, I remember, I specifically remember that um, um, we, we were in a lockdown situation and uh, uh, through through my, my, my work environment, whatever you, we were working from home and we were still told to go out and exercise and I tried to go out early in the morning. And I distinctly remember to say, right, I'm going to get my litter picking tools out to get my bag. I'm going to walk with my high vis jacket. That way, no one's going to stop me. I'm out in the back, but I'm doing a little bit of community work. But it was a way of saying, I need my escape. I need my uh, escape. Yeah. That's what it was for us. Mashallah. So we just wanted to have an escape. Yeah, yeah. And just like the way you said it, and we had that. And it was just the way, so we carried on. So I've got some uh, brief places. So it's all around Birmingham. So yeah. we also wanted to go around Birmingham, historic places. We want to bring a bit of Birmingham. Um, like you know, UB40 around Mosley area. Yeah, yeah. You got Dudston Manor where Uncle Swaz can tell you a bit more 
و يو نو ذاز يو سكول ذاز ما سكول ستار سمان سكول هارتلاند يا ا ريمبر يو ويل ام ا فورم ا فورم ا جراديويت فروم ذات سكول سو باي شاء الله ا ريمبر يو ويل سو يو نو ري ات ذس نون فور ميوزيكال يو ذاتس رايت ذاتس رايت ان ذا جيتس وات ذي ور ان ماي كلاس از ويل سو ذي يو ار سو سو ذي يو ار دو اي دو ان شاء الله سو ا يا ا لوت اوف ذا هيستوري اراوند برمنغهام از هيستوريك uh there is there is for example uh UB40 UB40 was a card that was given to you when you uh went on to sign on um uh for employment benefits and UB was an employment benefit 40 was the name of the card and because those individuals signed on for benefits that's the name of the band and look look where they got um so yeah there, there are so many historical places in, in Birmingham but if you bring your your litter picking uh, activities around those areas You get an opportunity to get to see Birmingham, but more importantly, you do something well for the community that, as well. That's right. Uh, Show some history to yeah. Birmingham. So, like we also was looking at um, JR Tolkien, yeah, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord and, uh, Hall Green, yeah, Hall, Hall Green, also parts of Hackley Road. We plan to push further down that way, and uh, we've we're basically trying to. So, what, uh, the mission initial plan of the Waste Warriors was: why are we going to litter pick events? We tell some Birmingham history. Yeah, that excellent, was, excellent. That's a good idea. That, that was the plan. So get people, you know, get people interested, and and you know, it's not like a boring thing. You know, someone says, you know, what? Well, come on, it's not. You know, there's a lot of criticism um, about it. You know, uh, you know, this council job, but this is our city. You know, this is home for us. Yeah. So we take a lot of passion and pride into it, and we we met a lot of lovely people on the way. Um, there's also, um, before, I'll just give you a bit further. So we stopped at uh, Dunstan Manor School. Where, which was a that a music band which you musical yeah. musical, musical youth, youth yeah. musical youth so then we went around some local areas Henry Barber uh, Park that's also a very famous uh, even proper I think in eight properties Henry Barber yeah, yeah, yeah. he's also up in uh, in uh, the city center yeah. in the Birmingham University you see yeah. a lot of by Henry Barber who yeah. he was then we started working around the Grange Road Park mm-hmm. um, then mm-hmm. Hobmore Road Cross Sarah Park Digby Park uh, Smallleith Park then also around the garrison lane the peaky blinders uh uh pub um, around there a bit of history of peaky blinders everybody's seen on netflix and you know so birmingham's pub birmingham pretty much interested of you know like uh but, but, but it's, it's quite interesting you talk yeah. about Pe- peaky blinders yeah. but um and fortunately i've been very privileged that i know people who grew up uh at the time the peaky blinders were around and they were like 12 13 years old so when that peaky blinders drama was first released on bbc um i asked the gentleman and i said do you know about this and he goes oh yeah 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 we grew up with this i said well you know we was around bodsley and small eaton but uh, the weather at st andrews he was oh yeah yeah he, you know we we knew about it and and the the fact that was a blessing between myself and the elderly gentleman He was at least um uh 15 years older than me and it was quite interesting to me we talk about uh our business relationships and whatever you and suddenly every week we we would talk about the 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 show and the fact that he was reliving his youth because that really did happen whilst it was it was fic- some of those was fictions but yeah. they was they were, and, and it was quite and you, know, and you don't realize how powerful some of that history is oh yes we also covered uh St Andrews. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, formerly known as Small Little Lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day. And uh, the Peaky Blinders, that is the actual That's right. That's right. They, That's right. That's right. Which they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the response we had a lot from the Birmingham City football fans on, you know, Facebook and uh we brought on guys, you know, uh, yeah. Birmingham City. What? I'm a, I'm a Blues fan myself. Ma- so. so what happened was that My uncle's a blues fan, and he said, "Let's go around the Birmingham City Football Stadium." Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were so around, I was the, was the green yeah. in small. Yeah, this so was time. this was due to the lockdown. Yeah, yeah, there was no blues matches. Yeah, yeah, there were no matches. So, no, no. So we decided to go around the uh, clean around Birmingham City Football Stadium. Ah, uh, okay. The cul-de-sac. So the one, um the, the railway railway end and the railway yeah, end yeah, exactly yeah. because I remember the railway yeah, yeah. when I saw it. Yeah, yeah. And there was a lot of nitro oxide canisters which we removed yeah, from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Is it like a party drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, this is not anti-social behavior which we saw. So we shared all the photographs. When we first went yeah. there, there were so many nitro oxide right. canisters. 
it was like uh, Terminator 2. Yeah, yeah. You know, where, where all the corners yeah, yeah, of the yeah, products have yeah, all yeah. fallen on the floor. The well, floor. I've, um, during the lockdown period, I've actually been from a walk around the canal around there. And the back end of the Blues Ground, there's the Grand Union Canal that goes through to Digbeth into the city centre. And I, I can picture what you're talking about, so I've actually seen yeah. all that. Uh, and when we when we got the blues fans inspired by that, that yeah. you know, no, who would actually go and clean yeah, that yeah, unless yeah. it's the council, right? That's right. So waste warriors name got even a bit more like no, attention. Fantastic, fantastic. Not, well, should, over thirty thousand, uh, thirty-five thousand likes and so through yeah, fantastic. A lot, a fantastic. lot of a lot of we got some support from the blues, and I said to my uncle, "Let's go Billy Grand." Huh? He goes, "No way, man." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes so "Don't go Billy Grand." My other uncle Cameron. He's a big Villa fan, right, okay. and there's a bit of rivalry in that fan family. Yeah, you, you always get that in families. So, yeah, so Waste Warriors trying to get Villa and Blues fans together, but but that was a bit of a difficult task. Uh, so he goes, let's just stick to Blues. So so the Blues fans, we, we did a work around there, and also um, around Nietzsche's Parks, we did around Wingip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we uh, went around this Nietzsche's Park Road. So the Wingip idea was when this COVID-19 happened, a lot of the... Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, xenophobia or, yeah, yeah. or against well, the there, Chinese there, there, there people. Right? Against the Chinese people yeah. So we said, come on, guys. I go, look, let's not racially you know, profile the Chinese people. So let's go to Wing Yip. Yeah. And so we went to dedicate towards Wing Yip. And look, that's Birmingham with diversity. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just all, you know, it's just all uh, bad negativity. Going so, back to litter picking then, sure. what, what, can you, what can you suggest that...